Yeah, look at you get Mike Tyson on the show, show with the club <laughs> <lines. laughs> <laughs> Mike's making some news, eh? I know, he's back. I Man, saw you've that... seen how fast that fucker is. Did Holy you check shit. The, did you check the dude with his shirt off at the 20 years after he won a world title? Mm. Fuck, he's pretty 60 yeah. something. But they say, they say in theory now, because of his age, he has an. Adv- I was watching the Joe Rogan on this Mike thing. Mm-hmm. In theory, because of his age, he's allowed to use a thing that lighties aren't allowed to use. That means he might yeah, be yeah. more dangerous yeah. now yeah. than he was 20 years ago, guys. What? 30 years ago. What, does he get like a handicap or something? <laughs> he's allowed to take a testosterone replacement therapy because of his age. Oh, so wow. in theory, he could be better now than ever before. But anyway, enough of that. Because was, there's the also f- the hot boxing with Mike Tyson thing. Go check it out. The Oak got a weed farm apparently as well. And Tigers from Joe Exotic and all that. But for now, Oaks. <laughs> Al says he's not as fast as Bones. <laughs> Let's see, he's not as fast as Bones. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just do this, guys? Should we just get the and do this, guys? So, um, while the technical crew lines up this video in the background, we had a big debate whether we should watch this or not on the show. We're going to watch it, guys. So, for all of you who don't know, there's this dude in the community, Bobby Greenash. Thank you. And the guy's been around. Um, he's made big news. Mm. He's really big on the Richards Bay and KZN scene for the cause and that. And in a way, I respect the Oak because you, you get what you see with him. But this oak lost his shit outside the top spa because they wouldn't let him in because he wasn't wearing a mask and he went full Karen on the poor security guard. <laughs> Karen. <laughs> I suppose that's what it is, yeah. Yeah, and he was like, you're skitting the selfie thing and you're saying, check, check, this oak's not wearing a mask. But watch, guys, shit's about to kick off. off. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> There's no sound for no us, sound. but is there sound? No, 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 no maybe I should narrate it. He's like, hey, fuck you. It's like, hey, foot sex, <laughs> 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 yeah, And like, now oh, comes the Tyson it. moment. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Oof. So now, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> one, two, one, two. There's Bobby's crack dealer. Crack <laughs> And the Zulu boy took K. Yo, dude. Now, the security guard's name apparently is TK. Yeah. TK has got a fucking huge fan club, let me yeah. just tell you. Who's TK? The, the big guy? The, the, the bouncer. The, the bouncer. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, correct me if I'm so wrong. Let's just let that roll while we talk. Is somebody, <laughs> is this going out live and is Bobby holding the camera? No, it didn't go out live. Bobby was recording it for whatever reason he was recording it because he'd done another one at another bottle store like the day before or something. But also, I tried not to go in with the mask, and but that one was a lot more friendly. The guys were getting upset with him. Is that online as well? Yeah, he posted that one. Oh. This one, apparently, he sent to... I've read two different versions. In one version, he sent it to two people. In another version, he sent it to three people who were involved in the resolving of this whole event because they've apparently ap- apologised and it's been resolved at shop level. Um, and whoever was one of those two or three people is whoever shared that video out and published it. Bobby did not post it himself. So whoever published it put that yep. thing over the overlay. Yep. It. You know, it's kind of like it's kind of like when you send but the dick pic to someone, <coughs> and then it gets out. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's what, what this happened. is. So <coughs> it must be narrowed down to three, two or three people. Literally. Some suspects. Some oh, suspects. Fuck's sake! I didn't know. And to this moment, I've never listened to it because I just thought it was another selfie going on with Bobby in it. But the funny thing is, uh, uh, Al. Mm. Old McCamry claims he, it was leaked. The thing is with Al at the very beginning is I saw this coming up on one of the groups I'm on. I was convinced the guy in the green board shorts with the long <coughs> hair and bare feet was fucking Al. So uh, until he turned around the, and you could see you know, Al bones, likes yeah. beer. Al digs his beer. No word of a lie. So there, Al tops, long hair, fucking can't see the side of his face. And then I said, and then I think to myself. I can't even tell if that's the same crack of the same arse, you know? <laughs> yeah. oh, no. So then it wasn't, because then Bones turned round and then I saw Bobby and I, I just I thought, oh, shit, OK, I'm bound to get the commentary <laughs> later. It's well, like watching the president. Time... You can't bear to watch. You'll just wait for the meme later. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, um, I'm going to try and preamble this. We're not going to be here to jump on the pile, but we're also going to have to talk about this because it's 
He's an icon within the cannabis community. Love him or hate him, which I know there's a large key. He's one of those <coughs> characters, such a strong personality yeah. that there's oaks who froth about the oak and people who, who love him. And that's cool. But like I said, I've always kind of respected him because you kind of see what you get. And yeah. th- doesn't everyone love Bobby? Because yeah. this is what Bobby does. He's he does give his finger to the system. Yeah. Uh-huh. Which, you know... He's the kind of cannabis um, activist that I <coughs> can't be. I'm not that sort of in-your-face, aggressive... Unless I'm in really a bad mood, Bobby is able to do that, and it's a, it's we need all kind of activists. This is a, a very unfortunate situation. I think he's he's taken a huge knock from it. He done fucked. He's, he's apologised a lot. He's mortified, but in yeah. the zone, the zone's the zone, and the zone you know uh, he's been doing it a long time in the public eye, and he maybe should know better. But yeah. Jay Bay's now the rest of the world. Because he's got supporters that are still Richard, firmly standing behind him as well, which is good. But he's he's pissed off. You know what? It's people. like fucking Russell De Beer or whatever who was in court last week. Nobody saw him in court last week. It's like, but in the day when Russell went down, oh fucking Russell, who's like yeah, the airwaves it'll full of it. It'll blow over Bobby. It'll blow over it, Bobby yes. and it'll get back yeah, but to. This is a way different. This is this is this, 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 is, is, racist, this, is, this is like got a racist tone to it. And, it has racist blow tone over. To it. and we don't really need this kind of behaviour from the cannabis community no. because we're trying so hard to break the stigma as it is. Okay, so Dan saying the R word, yeah, guys. This isn't going to blow over that easily because there was that like Kevin Hart thing. Remember he was going to host the Oscars in a tweet from like four years or ten years before mm. bit him on the ass. Mm. So you still didn't share the audio, but you can go watch it. It's everywhere. We'll put the link or whatever. You know, there's a, the, the comments <coughs> blew up. I bet this video has been seen half a million times today. Between the way it's been shared and the 100,000 it's probably hit on Facebook now, so I bet it's been seen half a million times. Not because it's a cannabis thing. It's just because of Oak being a dick about a mask outside of tops. Mm. Mm. Uh, and getting his ass <laughs> Kyle Army Ninja to him. Mm. But, but the last time but he got this much media, he was being hailed as the Robin Hood of the cannabis industry. There's a lot of racism tones coming through from the community on the chat. Like mm. I saw on his That's Facebook, <clears throat> it must be on like a thousand comments today alone. Really? Mm. The fuck, really? Because the way he spoke to TK with that. What's known uh, yeah, as the next thing? Yeah, it no, is that's a real down. that's one of my scre- squeamish, squeamish things mm. is condescension like that. Yeah. I used yeah. to hear it in the movies a little bit and it's like fuck and I heard murmurings of black Twitter as well getting a hold of this. I was like Ooh. Oh well that's, 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 mm. he's not on Twitter in any form, so you'll yeah. get a shock when <laughs> black tw- yeah. Twitter black Twitter in particular. Myrtle and I I go into there all the time. I dig it because I learn a lot about society through mm. Twitter and how it is and I find myself even translating tweets to figure out what the dude said because everyone was laughing like fuck yeah. underneath it you know so what did that guy say mm. so maybe mm. uh, but hey I digress um, it, ha- it is on Twitter and it's somebody who's very disappointed at who he saw as an icon and in a weird way this morning I got a message into Dhaka Couple's inbox on Facebook that said with the Bobby debacle going on, I would just like to thank you for being completely the way you are at all times and behaving yourself as a ducker couple and being the, you know, like the, the known quantity that doesn't do shit like this. Mm. And we've had our moments. Myrtle's got a Twitter moment that's had half a million things. Don't you ever ask me that again. Do you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the court on 702? Yeah, and someone's made that. a meme of it. But and it's needed out. to get out there. Because, Hundreds of, yeah. I see it all the time. Yeah. Because somebody's on Twitter going, marry me. And there'll be a fucking gif of Myrtle comes out. I know. <laughs> Don't you ever ask me that again. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. it's a tough time for old Bobby. You know, guys, whew, it's just like, it's one of those situations where no one's a winner. Mm-hmm. Well, I've got an anecdote of the way that it went into my head when I heard that it happened. I don't even remember the joke, but when I was a kid, um, the farmers used to tell this joke about you being, you, you, you're a good man, it's a close knit society that you live in and the guy's cool and he's got great integrity and he'll help you out and he's got a warm heart and he looks after his neighborhood and his but you know just fuck one sheep and this is his, just that. this is his uh, just fuck one sheep moment because mm. nobody will forget that That's you know exactly. you, so i'm um 
it will blow over. It blow over for anything that happened to merge for Can Niagara on Niagara. Can take a bit of PR? Can take a bit of fucking? Hey, we've got through all of the shit that people mm. like um, uh, Andre would throw at us in the early day. All of that yeah. negative shit. Um, I think Bobby needs to clean up his timeline a little bit because fuck, he comes out with some some emotive stuff, and um, they're gonna pick the bones out of if he's not careful. Mm. Do you need, yeah. So. Um, I stuck up for him today on Twitter. The first time somebody asked, I stuck up. I said, he's a good man. I've had him around. You know, he's got a great heart, but this is this is his moment of being a total fucking do us. Look, we all have dickhead moments yeah. every now and then. <laughs> yeah, None well, of us are perfect. Be, yeah, but Just hey. don't do it with a fucking camera in your hand. <laughs> I think... I think so. Adolphus Mujesakal, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Did you th do you think he must have had it on because he figured at this point it was going to be... Because Evidence he'd done to it get the day before. Or it, no, it's because he'd done it the day before at a different bottle store. Just to be a contrary son of a bitch. Just yeah? to be exactly right. Bobby Greenhash. Okay, well, Bobby. And he wasn't expecting <laughs> it to turn into a fist fight. It's gone quick. Yeah. It's gone quick. And I just hope that um, people realise that it's like um, it wasn't cannabis what made him do it, etc. You know, it's yeah. like, oh, he's probably fucking high in his own supply and cuck, you know. Yeah, he wasn't there for a banky. <laughs> he no, he was there banking. probably for his, He loves his red wine, as far as I know. Yeah, he drinks a red wine. Could have been to get a bottle of red wine. We're not yet to criticise no. or judge, you know, each other to his own. But it is a fuck up. Um, yeah, hey, it didn't go down well. Mm. I can't, in that moment, I can't say anyone's on Bobby's side with it. Oh, I think the number one rule, guys, the number one rule when you fuck up, don't share it. Yeah. Don't share it. Because yeah. somebody did it. On his behalf, no? Somebody well, it's whoever know, he had to share it with in the resolution triangle. Yeah. And also the other lesson, the other lesson, when you're going full fucking Karen, <laughs> landscape. <laughs> landscape. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, the fucking angle's right. True right. story. <laughs> <laughs> but also, also, why wasn't someone shouting, world star? Yeah, yeah. yeah. where was the world star? <laughs> oh, you suck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, Oh, I'm so glad I got I've got to say, this bogey literally put the bum in bum fight. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, honestly, God, honestly, I hope between Bobby and Bones and TK, it, it's a traumatic experience. It's the last thing they're thinking about every day, the first thing. I think yeah. everyone's a loser there. Um, I hope they are able to sort it out and make good. And maybe, you know, sometimes, sometimes a thing like this is a learning experience. Yeah. Mm, that's it. Well, look, apparently apologies have got done the rounds. Everybody's, it's all been amicably resolved. At uh, uh, a person-to-person person level. But yeah. People are out there demanding he does public apologies. He goes and videos himself apologizing the same mm. way that he was right, well, antagonized. I'm sure he's kind of quite capable of going in yeah, front of a video camera. He's a make his own choices. <laughs> and also, TK, if he's shown us one thing. So he can fight his own fucking fights too. Yeah. So hats off, TK. Yo, dude, you put those white boys down. <laughs> you don't take shit and that's good. Imagine dude. being TK, not really wanting to be there, knowing that, that he's in the zone of fucking all sorts of germs and shit. And exactly, like, who wants to, to the he needs to do is be doing pandemic. it. Yeah. They can't afford to have him there doing it. And a lot of shops I see now aren't. They've got a, like a foot thing, they've got mm. rid of the person. Because that mm. person's like fucking 500 grand a day away. Yeah. Mm. So now TK's sitting there thinking, fucking wives home with all the kids still and everything else and he's earning whatever the fuck it is at tops and some plonker like this comes along <laughs> uh, <laughs> tuning that he's a liar and I know the law and I don't have to you don't have to we know you Dear don't have to tops, you know TK that it's a raise <laughs> so handle that uh, shit yeah no, just, TK. just <clears throat> it's a, at the moment it's a societal norm and just Bones I hope it. your arm is okay it looks yeah like look it's fuck. yeah but um, CBT, I'm sure CBT. Bones, Bones, <laughs> CBT, Bones, CBT. Somebody, if you know a health shop, Bones. <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, I hope everyone's okay. We sit here, we make jokes, just we're all blowing all steam in that. I hope everyone's okay. I hope everyone sorts it out. But also, TK's DMs and notifications must be blowing up. Yeah. Dude, he's got a fan club of the <laughs> And he deserves it. He's, you know, yeah. he's out there doing cuck work. Yeah, it's a cuck job. Oh, but Oaks, man. that was us blowing off a bit of steam. Sure, it was such a weird story, but it was nice to have, in a weird way, mm. a weird story. Because it's kind of a drought, Oaks. Yeah, there hasn't been much going on for sure, but now people, more, the more and more the bottle stores open, the more stories we're going to get. It's always a good centre of a fucking attraction. Do you think it was also a problem to get bottlenecks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've seen a couple of bottleneck pictures floating around yeah. Facebook. I also saw Oak celebrating. He made a whole bottle the bottleneck. He just took the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, celebrate extra. He's like, yeah. I'll, he's, like, he's like, I'll show you a flat rock. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Oaks, uh, please. Re-